hot air balloon capital of the world. This is live coverage of the 51st Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta and the 66th Gordon Bennett Coupe Aeronautique. It's Balloon Fiesta Live, powered by ExxonMobil. And now, direct from the rooftop studio at Balloon Fiesta Park in Albuquerque, New Mexico, here are your hosts, Glenn Moyer and Art Lloyd Jr. And ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome. It is Friday. It's Special Shapes Rodeo Galodeo Night at the 51st Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta powered by Exxon Mobil. You know, you were singing a song last night, and I've got a different song tonight. I was singing Windy by the Association last night. What you got up tonight? Yeah, what a difference a day, day makes. makes. Yes, indeed. <laughs> 24 little hours. hours. Look at yeah. the weather. Look at this weather. Oh, wow, yeah. I mean, this is, you know, the Chamber of Commerce just wrote a check and said, here, Here we, we go. go. Put it on. There Put we it go. on. Yeah, 20 yeah. mile an hour winds last night. Gusty winds. Just not a fun night last night from the weather standpoint. We had good time, but the weather just did not cooperate. And no. tonight, this is going to be perfect. It's absolutely gorgeous. By the way, I'm Glenn Moyer. You're watching Balloon Fiesta Live, also powered by ExxonMobil. The gentleman to my right, Mr. Art Lloyd Jr., seven years. I'm doing, doing Balloon this. Fiesta Live, Balloon nearly Fiesta 300 Live. hours of shows that we've been on the air in those seven years. Archived all the way back to the beginning. You can check out those early shows if you want to know what we looked like when we were seven years younger. Not a lot of different, actually. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah. We've aged well, we at have. least in the last seven years. <laughs> <laughs> we have indeed. Uh, but, yeah, what a great night we've got out tonight. The weather is perfect already. I think that's Taz that's maybe inflating already yeah, looks down like there. Yeah, it. Yep. Uh, one of our special shapes. It's going to be just an awesome night. We had an awesome morning this morning, and Brad T. Meyer told us in weather briefing at 6 o'clock this morning we were going to expect this kind of weather. All and through the day, through the night. He nailed it. And even just to kind of show you how good it is for flying, just about an hour ago, we had our team fast tracks jump in with That's the big right. flag and the balloon fiesta flag. And we recorded that for you. So let's take a look. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our Friday night Lodeo Rodeo. And we're going to get things started here on the field with the Bringing in of the flag, flags actually, from Team Fast Tracks, brought to you today by AIC. If you look back to the east toward the mountains and then high above the Sandias, you'll see the aircraft in flight as they are circling and still continuing to climb to jump altitude. We're, what, about a minute and a half away? 30 seconds 30 now. seconds away now, all right. So they'll on be the turning feet. on to jump okay. run, probably right. just did now, working uh, east to west across the field. So let's uh, turn your eyes skyward. Let's watch for the jumpers to be exiting the aircraft. And uh, we will enjoy this afternoon's early jump, our flag jump, presenting uh, the our colors. Our daytime jump. Our daytime That's jump. That's what Thanks. these guys like to call it. Yeah, there's the, the turn jump. right over the field now. Now there's the jump run. Yep, they're coming just kind of uh, northwest, northeast to southwest, rather. We should right see over the center of the field. Now see the first the jumper side. out just any second. There he is. One. There's one jumper out. Jumper number two. Three, four, five, and six. And we have six good yeah, shoots. It sounds like KOB. And confirming six good canopies. Momentarily, Larry Compton will unfurl 5,000 square feet of the American flag. And Dimitri Dadik will unfurl the 2,000 square foot balloon fiesta flag. And we have at least one combo jump. We've got two of the jumpers up high that have connected. I think that was number five and six that came out at the end. They've hooked up into a tandem formation. Brian and Yulia Pangborn are going to do that two stack into the smoke and the down plane. So they'll turn into there. There's the uh, American flag. There's the American flag, 5,000 square feet of freedom. And right behind it, the AIBF, the balloon fiesta flag, is now flying. 
typically the other two jumpers will either also connect into a duo stack or they will eventually display red, white, and blue streamers. We do have the one duo stack up higher off to the uh, side of the main group of four jumpers. The helmet cam today being flown by Karen Dalton. For those of you near the video wall or watching on the feed, you're seeing shots from the sky. There's, There's the smoke. Yep. yep, usually red, white, and blue smoke from one of the jumpers. The with the drop-down smoke should be our live feed camera. Now there's red, white, and blue smoke from the tandem. Right, they were going to have that as well. So that's the down plane. So they, right. they come just screaming down they to the will. ground. They will. Yeah, they will turn horizontal, really, where the bo their body is literally horizontal to the ground. And they just come, here they come, screaming down at high speed, uh, flying these flying wing parachutes, ram air parachutes that they use. Wow, look at that, straight down. And they're, they're literally out flat, horizontal to the ground as they come down like that. That's got to be a thrill. Uh, it's got to be. I think I'd be dead of fright by about now. <laughs> yeah, again, that's Brian and Yulia Pangborn. I mean, look how fast they're falling. These things, they can fall in these chutes at speeds of over 100 miles an hour. Then they'll break apart at what seems to be just the last moment. They're still connected. Still connected. There, there they, they go. go. Whew. The pyrotechnics up above. That's yes. the part of the double stack. And Kevin Engel is flying the pyrotechnics. And these are shot out from uh, bags that they actually wear on their legs. They're strapped around uh, their lower legs and the pyrotechnics are fired out from those. The front jumper trailing smoke, which is actually hanging uh, from a tether. But those pyrotechnics come right off the legs of the uh, divers. Jumpers. So the jumper with the smoke without the pyrotechnics is kind of circling around our flags coming in, giving us some great views of those flags. Our first two jumpers on the ground, we've been looking up and suddenly they've landed. I just looked there. There's an aerial view from the helmet cam trailing the Fiesta flag. And ladies and gentlemen, let's honor America now with the playing of our national anthem. Ladies and gentlemen, Team Fast Tracks. Sponsored by Accident Insurance Company Incorporated. Great job, team, great job. Helps if you turn your mic open. <laughs> For those who were watching on the feed, that was the Fast Tracks uh, daytime jump. Uh, the folks here on the field got to see it live. About an hour ago. About an hour ago. And now yes. we are live across the PA as well. So welcome to Balloon Fiesta Live and our special oh, shapes, right. Glodio here on Friday night. When we said good morning, uh, good evening earlier, we were live on the feed, but yep. not on the PA. I got gotcha. you. Now we're on the PA. Okay. I get confused sometimes. It's At old At least age. we're supposed to be on. Sounds like we are, yeah. Yeah. So yep. you're watching yeah. and listening to Balloon Fiesta Live, powered by ExxonMobil, as is the 51st Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta. I'm Glenn Moyer, alongside with Art Lloyd, Jr., and uh, what an incredible evening. 
it's going to be. It is. It, it is absolutely. And already a huge crowd out here. Even in the other balloonists and crew. I know. They are lined up all along the, the west side of our field here. These are. The, I have never seen this many trucks I have, over in here. In 34 years, I've never seen that many pilots and balloon crew come out to see the evening show. I mean, they're, they're parking two and three deep. Well, and yeah, dude, you look at the far north end, they're, yeah. they're filling up the whole space. They're all the way over to the road on the Arroyo, the West Road. Yeah, there is a, a uh, sterile zone in there for the fireworks and the drone area. Right. And they're around that, but they're going to fill everything in over there except yeah. that. Those are uh, the pilots who participate on, on a day-to-day -day basis, the non-special shape pilots, I guess is the best way to say it. And I have never seen that many of them no. out tonight. So about 550 balloons registered here at the 51st Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta. And we have a little over 100 special shapes. Yep. And that's who's setting up, which means there's 400, 400 plus people, odd, yeah. other balloons. And I think... <laughs> 399 of them are over Probably there. Probably here tonight. Absolutely, yeah. And of course, they bring out their crew. So, right. you know, we may have almost as large a crowd on the west as we will have on the east tonight. So and those of you, yeah, and those of you over there by Main Street on Main Street concessions, there's still room for you to move to the western part of the field. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So we do have a bit of a crowd already forming around Daz, who is the first balloon up this evening. And uh, that is uh, Matt Hurst out of St. Peter's, Missouri with Daz. He's got his back to the east. And so there's quite a crowd gathering along the west side here. Uh, probably some photo ops going on down there. Uh, but there's plenty of room on the west side of the field if you want to wander on out across the balloon field and come to the west side. We also have some room down here at the south, uh, down in front of Sponsor Hospitality in our corporate village and where the rooftop studio is. So if you're feeling uh, a bit closed in there along Main Street, well, come on over to the west or come down here to the south and sit with us. Exactly. And, of course, this is a great time to be out in the middle of the field where all the balloons will set up. We'll have some more setting farther up as well, so you're going to want to do make that move out to the side. And then we're going to be, uh, as it gets darker, we're going to be lighting up these balloons and putting on a fabulous glow do tonight. Following that, we're going to have our nighttime drone show. That'll be in the western sky, so yet another reason to move over to the west side of the field. And then our, um, let's see, after Fast Tracks first. Our team Fast Tracks will drop in first, and then, then the, the drone, drone show. show. And then the Afterglow fireworks. And that has a fabulous component over on the west side as well. Indeed. And you can see the out north it will be the aerials, and then there's a ground line or a candlestick line along the west side so we're gonna we're just telling you the the great views tonight center and west of the field is where you want to be it's great to be along main street and do your shopping but as we get into our balloon glow you're going to want to move to the western part spread out across the field as we get prepared for our special shapes glodio tonight it is going to be Fabulous. Yeah, a bunch of shapes already beginning to take uh, it, take shape. <laughs> I wish I, could, <laughs> wish I could find a better way to say that. Special shapes taking shape. Taking form. Taking form, coming to Waking life. Waking up. Waking up, whatever. Yeah. yeah. We just mentioned uh, Daz. We have uh, Sean Askren down there with the Xfinity Rewards uh, balloon with their multicolored hearts. He's already inflated. They, of course, are the sponsors of our Navigators this year. Those are the many volunteers that... Uh, help put on Balloon Fiesta. Look at that shot with the sun coming around oh, the Xfinity Oh, look at that, balloon. yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> and the crowd below him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and then uh, just quickly running around the field, the ones that we can see from here, there is uh, Baby T-Rex, and uh, right here in front of us is Peg Leg Pete getting started. We've got uh, Tiny the Fire Dog is out there. Um, I the think sloth that is way out there. Sloth is way out there. I think that might be cheesy uh, just beyond where Daz is. I think you're right. And, in fact, uh, the whole group of them out there, Cheesy and the cat, I, would, I don't know what the unofficial name of the uh, Sylvester is out there. Yeah, I'm not sure either. Probably yeah. just the cat or something. And we just saw Snowbird, the tourist penguin, standing up. And just yep. to confirm what we're saying, there's the green, the green flag. flag for tonight. We're all good to go. Uh, we've got Stryker, the uh, soccer ball, or depending if you're from across the pond, the football. Um, 
character. With his, yeah, with his sunglasses and headphones. And headphones. And then uh, right in front of that, uh, the In the Buff team. That is Barry Ballinger's uh, Plains Capital Bank team with the two Tataka and on there's either Mon side. Yeah, Monty the black sheep right in front of our Sid Yep. Butter, Sid Cutter Pilots Pavilion. And right beside him is going to be Speedy. That's, That's the, the purple or, shape, yeah, purple orange and orange and purple. that you see. And is it that carnival that's also inflating here? The three-sided, uh, like, uh, what, Mardi Gras mask, I yes, guess? Yes, yeah, a little closer to us. Yeah. So, uh, yep. So, and here comes Peg Leg Pete. Yep, Peg Leg Coming is standing awake. up. And if I look around Snowbird, on I can one see... one leg, he's standing up. I can see Milky Way also taking shape down oh, there. Oh, yeah, the I do. The little cow. I do. Yep, Milky Way is uh, Bill Kinzer out of yeah. Edmond, Oklahoma. Brand with, new balloon for Bill. Yeah, beautiful uh, little cow's head with a daisy in its uh, mouth and a bell around its collar. Ding, ling, ding, ling. <laughs> or whatever sound cowbells make. Need more cowbells. Some bell. of them Remember the, yeah, remember the, the more uh, cowbell. yeah. Saturday Night Live uh, skit you more know, cowbell, with the band? More, more cowbell, cowbell, more cowbell. Right in front of the Xfinity balloon <laughs> on our screen is the green elephant, Giotto. Oh, and, yeah, yeah, there's a great and shot. And there's the top and of uh, Milky Way that you Milky were just Way. talking about. Yep, absolutely. Actually, that's a uh, that's kind of a good shot. You know, we've talked about special shapes being built on a regular shaped balloon. Right. And then all the appendages. And looking straight down at the top of Milky Way, there's the regular balloon. You can even see the top there. And then you get the white horns and, the ears, and ears. And you get and the, the nose, the nose going and mouth. Off the front. It's all appendages. But you can see, right, how it's built around a traditional teardrop-shaped hot air balloon and we've talked about where do you put the deflation port on special shapes and it's in right this there. case it's right on the top and if you look to the left to Xfinity you can also see a little bit of ruffled fabric especially, right around the top of their balloon. Yeah, especially when it kind of rolls this way a yeah, little bit. Now you, you can see, see yeah, it a little definitely bit of see sculpted, the extra ruffles. Uh, or scalloped I think is the word I'm searching for fabric and that is the parachute top there. Now not all shapes have their uh, deflation port at the very top but in this case uh, they do. Look at that shot of Peg Lake Peak. Yeah. Yeah, I've he's never a figured, watching you. I have, I've asked Dave and Kathy Reineke this several times. I've never figured it out. Is Peg Leg Pete a pirate parrot or a parrot pirate? Oh, and the answer is? Uh, I haven't gotten the answer. They haven't gotten one? Yeah, I don't know. You know one of the things you're going to watch for with Daz here? You see all those teeth? Yeah, I do. Yeah, every one of those has an inflation port, port to make sure that it fills out. So if you look up inside you'll see little round holes behind every tooth to allow the air to flow out from the inner part of the balloon into those teeth to make them three-dimensional. And when it glows, you're going to have all those little white circles oh, on those teeth. Oh, you can teeth. see through it. Okay. You can see through the teeth to see those holes, and so all the teeth have their like their own little light in them. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, you're going to want, want to watch for that with Daz out there. Well, and if you're near where Bucky Beaver is, we talked about this the other day, Bucky Beaver started life as Mr. Potato Head, and because of legal issues, et cetera, et cetera, they had to do a, a makeover and change the shape, and so they, they gave him these big old jowls and buck teeth. Right. But if you look closely, they simply sewed that fabric onto the front of the balloon. So when he glows, you can kind of see through his facade, and you can actually see, at least the last time I saw it glowing, they yeah. may have changed it, but I believe you can still see through to the original Mr. Potato Head smile that is behind Bucky's buck teeth. So watch for that tonight if you buy that, that balloon. Yeah. And as we've encouraged you to move out on the, amongst the balloons and out to the west side, as you get up close to those special shapes, take a look up inside so that you can see what we're talking about, about it looking like a regular shaped balloon from the inside looking up. And you'll see all those extra inflation ports to inflate the appendages. There's the mouse. And uh, yeah, you may also be curious to see how much rigging there is inside. In a lot of these shapes, there are bungee ropes that help to pull the fabric in one direction or another so that it creates the shape on the outside. But there often is a much more rigging inside the balloon yeah, than is ever is. apparent on the outside. So that's something, too, if you can walk up to the basket and peer up inside through the throat of the balloon, you may be able to see some of that tonight. The pirate ship was one especially um, that way. The American um, yeah. flag was, was that another that one. Barry used to bring to us. And then, of course, the um, 
the engine from the well here uh, we are looking up inside yeah there yes. you go look yeah. at that shot so you see all those little holes around there where the the fabric appears to be a lighter green those are openings in the fabric that are going to let the air go, go out, out into, into the those appendage appendages. to take shape and then you also see the baffling that helps to create the shape where you exactly. see the fabric sort of flags and the yeah. bungee cable that's holding all that together that's pulling the thing together uh, to create the outward shape Yep, that's exactly what we're talking about there. And then there was the deflation port. And now here comes our green, green elephant, elephant that we saw yep. getting in cold inflated before. Now he's hot, 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 hot. And he is a brand new shape that is here for the first time. We have several of those. We'll try to be sure to make mention of them for you this evening. That is the Jata balloon, and that is Louise Assis, who is here from uh, south of the border down in uh, South America. Uh, and uh, Sao Paulo, uh, Sao Paulo Bouvet Island is officially uh, the location. Now, I saw, I see that we have a, a race car or something, or Pirelli yes. tires. Yeah, that's going to be the race car. All right, I saw that this morning, but I couldn't find him in the, in the app, so I didn't have any info. If you know something, well, please let me know. Um, I'll see what I can find but out, but he's, I, I, yeah. He's right there beside uh, Baby T-Rex. But there is, a, if you're a racing fan, there's a race car. I mean, you know, we've seen... I've said for years, there's every kind of special shape except a kitchen sink. I have not yet seen a kitchen sink. So if you're thinking about doing something original, remember when the you chairman... You would talk a lot about it. Then. I would. I'd talk a lot about it. Remember when the chairman of Lazy Boy was here and yes. he actually had a Lazy Boy recliner? Yep. Special shape, hot air balloon. And the shopping cart and the, the shopping, shopping bag cart, yes. with all the groceries All the groceries, in it. yep. Yep. Was that, uh, was that Safeway? I think that was one of the... Uh, Safeway or I, Smith's? I think they were sponsored by different grocery chains around yeah. the country. That, that was one of those that you could. You could change you could put the a banner grocery on store uh, name yes. on the side yes. of it. Yes, exactly. Yes. So, uh, which is um, something that, you know, a number of these are can do. The tennis shoe that's out there was originally famous, famous footwear. footwear. And, right. now, and now that it's not carrying that banner, now it says infamous footwear. Yeah. And I've seen it say all kinds of other things as well. And, so. and that is being piloted by the young man who was up here with us early this week. Yes. Who attended, uh, we were talking about the Balloon Federation of America's youth camps. And the pilot is a young man who went through the camp program and eventually earned his pilot's license. And here he is at Balloon Fiesta, the world's largest ballooning event, and flying a special shape. What a, a thrill for him. Oh, must be. There's Absolutely. Lindy standing up. Yep, that's Lindy, the uh, caricature, uh, caricature balloon from uh, Lindstrand Balloons, one of many manufacturers that are represented here on the field. Typically, though, they do not open up their booths in the evening. And as I look over toward their tents, they are all uh, dark for tonight. But they'll be out tomorrow morning, I'm sure. As Lindy was coming up, I saw right in the background, kind of you can right behind our logo down there, the green one. That's Gizmo. He's right. been here, not, hasn't been here for a while, but he's back. That's Matt the, Robinson uh, has brought him. Isn't that the gargoyle-looking uh, balloon? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, he's kind of right there. Yeah. And then there's the back of the lion, the back which of the we black saw this line. morning. There's Tiny the fire dog. Talked yep. about them. There's one of the bees. And Hamlet. I think Where that's Hamlet. Kind of, yeah, he's still, he just went behind the people in the other. Okay. Yeah, he was down in the lower left. I'm, I'm sure he's out there. Hey, guess what that one is? That Cynthia is Cynthia Seal. Seal. <laughs> Hashtag Cynthia Seal. There you go. As a matter of fact, and they're inflating so. right here in front of us down on the south end of the field, right in front of Sponsor Hospitality. And again, there's Barry Ballinger in the Plains uh, Capital Bank balloon with the two the Tatanka. The, uh, and see, the air hasn't gotten completely out into the horn of the uh, buffalo that's on this side. Oh, see his right one, horn? Yeah, yeah, one yeah. is kind of there, One's the other one not. One's loosey-goosey. The other one is uh, sort of... Uh, still inside out, but it's beginning to poof out as some of the air gets to it. So as they continue to fill that balloon and heat the balloon, the air for the air inside expands and will then flow out into those appendages and fill them through out. Through all those little holes we were talking about. Through those little holes we were yeah. talking about. Right. Absolutely. Yep. So we just saw the upside down Humpty Dumpty out there. There's one of the bees um, that's tiny behind it, it looks like. And a few minutes ago, I saw Sheriff Armadillo getting inflated yep. on the far He's northwest cold side. He's cold inflated on the northwest cold. side down there. Busby's out there. Dino is out there, the orange one with the purple spines along the back. Yeah, Vicki Fogue is flying Busby, by the way. I literally just almost knocked her over coming off the elevator the other morning. There's a great shot of Tiny. It was good to see her. Yep, Tiny the fire dog, uh, brand new with us. Again, one of the many new shapes that are debuting here for the first time at Balloon Fiesta this year. 
There's your race car standing up right yes. um, on the other side of Speedy, the Roadrunner. Yeah, it's got Pirelli tires on it, and um, so I'm not sure if that's a, if they're sponsored by Pirelli or have a connection to Pirelli. But uh, yep, cool little race car. Speedy is up. Oh, oh look at baby T Rex with oh, this yeah. Speedy, Speedy kind of peering at, around the side. Said, mm, <laughs> maybe I need to go find a different launch site. Says Speedy. Yeah. <laughs> Speedy, by the way, is flown by Earl Buzzard out of Albuquerque right here. And, of course, Speedy is reference to uh, the state's uh, very familiar Roadrunner bird. And then also, of course, to the Chuck Jones character. Yep. There's uh, Sheriff There's Armadillo. There's Sheriff Armadillo just yep. now coming up, right? You can and see Striker yeah, the, with uh, the headphones. With the headphones down there, the football or soccer ball character. And our uh, putty cat. Putty tat, yeah. I'm not sure what we're supposed to call that oh, look anymore. At, look at Sheriff Armadillo just coming right up yep. and checking us out. Got his cowboy boots and his Stetson on and There's two six, six guns. Uh, yeah. Look at that belt buckle. Got a star belt buckle there. There's a great There's shot. There's the Pirelli yeah. racer. Yep. And the little green that's kind of down in there, that's going to be Itsy Bitsy, the preventive pest control with well, the big black widows on it. That's one of them, but the green to the left, that is... Um, oh, I can't think. I just, I know that shape, <laughs> but I can't It's another it's, one of those monster type looking. Yeah, yeah. It's one of those that with a face that only a mother could love, I suppose. <laughs> but, or a pilot and crew. And a pilot and crew. Yeah. And it's been here before and I know the shape and I, I, I mean, I can see it in my mind's eye, but I can't for the life of me call up its, uh, remember its name. Oh, here he is. That is... Uh, Oh, that's Buzzy. That's Buzzy. Yeah. Yeah. Vicky Folk flying Buzzy. I had There's the Black Widow I was just mentioning. Yeah, right. Itsy Bitsy Spider, on the, which is not such an Itsy Bitsy Spider on the side of that balloon. Yeah, not so Itsy Bitsy. I am surprised at the number of people who go by that balloon and say, Ooh, yeah. get me away from this balloon. I, I know people that if they saw a spider in their house, they'd burn the house down. So. <laughs> <laughs> There Seth is, Hunter is flying uh, preventive pets for us this yeah, year. Yeah, there is Stiggy, one of several dinosaurs that we have out uh, this week. We mentioned baby T-Rex. This is another one. And we've got two or three others. Uh, in fact, one is inflating down here on the west side, the orange one with the purple uh, spikes on it. Dino. Dino. Is that, that Dino? One. That's the name of Dino. Okay. There's Tiamo. We talked about uh, Tammy. Shrum taking Tiamo, the big red heart, yep. making another heart within his hands, with its there hands. as well. Absolutely. I see Lulu out there, which is another cheetah, not Duma, but another well, cheetah. Well, I was Lulu. just looking for that, so that's, that's Lulu. That's Lulu, okay. Yep, and a minute There's ago we talked about Steggy. That is George, uh, George Airy from uh, Sao Paulo, Bouvet Island. Again, these are some of the shapes that come to us from South America. And, uh, Our VW bus with all the people in it. Yeah, the VW up. window bus. And then there is our uh, UK Palace Guard, who is also here. And I talked about him just the other morning. I should know it. Busby. Is that Busby? Yeah, I think that's the name of it. The guard? Yeah. The guy with the hat? Yep. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, what a great night. We're getting a number of our balloons up. The sun is just about to drop below the horizon off in the southwest. Once that gets down and things start getting just a little bit darker, we'll start our balloon glow, our glow-de-yo. I just saw Elvis. There has been an Elvis spotting in the field. Elvis is in the building. Or on the field. Or on the field. You're Sunny right, boy. That, is, that is Busby, the King's Guard, Paul Burroughs, out of uh, Bristol in North Somerset over in the United Kingdom. There's a great shot of Steggy. And there is uh, Seabed that one with all of the beautiful artwork of the fishes on the side. And if you're close to it, you'll see there is a three-dimensional uh, turtle and a dolphin jumping over the top. And then there is Yoda. Yeah, and in the middle is Mandrel. There was a shot of the Moonscape balloon yes. underneath, still cold inflating, underneath and behind them over there as well. Okay. After we got off the air this morning, the pilot of the Moonscape balloon came by and um, gave us a pin, but he also told me that there are flags, U.S. flags, on the balloon where Apollo 11 landed. Oh, wow. I yeah. didn't know that. And he said, we've made them kind of big, but they're still in relative, they're really kind of small. small yeah. So you have to kind of look for them out yeah. there. But when you're out there around the moonscape, look for the flags right where Apollo 11 actually landed. You said, you said he came by and gave us a pin? 
yes, me and our production assistants. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hey, well, we were also visited this morning by the cheesy balloon team, and I don't know if you guys can come to camera for this or not real quickly, but they, they have pins, but they also have these little cheesy blocks. And look, it's a squeeze toy, like a stress toy. See? And, the, and they pop up. The little mouse yeah, pops up. How pops cool up. is that? Yeah, cheesy. brought them by. When it's so if you're really stressed, plan, yeah. you know, we were talking to Brad Timar, when the weather's bad, yeah. he's over there going, you know, <laughs> <laughs> wearing out. I told him he could borrow a cheesy and use him as a stress toy. Yeah. When this was still in the plastic, I thought, okay, it squeezes, but of course it wasn't really popping up. The plastic was Because he was in a plastic wrap. We took it out and there, whoa, yeah. it goes. <laughs> yeah, you kind of have to experience everything to see what it's like. So yeah, thanks to the cheesy team for our uh, little cheesy toys. Look how close you can get to that basket. You can walk right up there. You Absolutely. can see what's up there. You're going to be able to feel the heat. You're going to see the light and you're going to feel the power of those burners you can, when we do an all You can even talk to the pilots and crew, ask them questions and all sorts of things. Get those balloon cards from the crew Absolutely. and pilots out there. Yeah, and that's something you can't do at most any other balloon festival, almost in the world. We're one of the very rare yeah, events very where few. spectators are able to get out and mingle as you are freely with the balloon teams. And uh, many of the crowd has listened to us. There, there's, okay, there, there's, oh, there's, there's the, the moonscape yeah, and there's there the flag. Is. There it is. Oh, and it's actually on a pole. Is it sticking out from I the balloon? Th well, I think it, it must be. I thought. It looks like it. I thought it was I, just sewn onto that, the side of the that, balloon. That's what I thought, too. But no, it's like the flag is actually on its flagpole. On its flagpole. Uh, oh, okay. How, isn't that that's cool? That's just awesome. That is awesome. That is the coolest thing. There's yeah. a good shot of it. He's right there by Seabed. Uh, and then and, Little Dog uh, the is little behind dog, him. And then Steggy. Yes, the yep, and there's there, Yoda. But, uh, so they're down there. Yeah. yeah that is, I, I misunderstood is, what he was yeah. talking about. That is, ah, that is way cool. That, that is just way cool. You're yeah. right. That's awesome. Kevin found that for us, one of our crack photographers with the Windfire production team. Outstanding. Boy, they will just, uh, yeah. They, they always exceed expectations and just amaze us every day that we work with those guys. There's uh, a couple, of, couple frogs. of frogs. A ribbit. A ribbit. Neither one is named ribbit, by the way, which nope. I think is a real mistake. <laughs> well, there's probably another I'm, one. I'm just so. saying. Well, yeah. there is Hoppy. It, what, no, wait. What is that his name? The one that's Kirk, a, the, no, the one that's, that looks like a hop. That's Kermy. That's Kermy. Yeah. 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 Look at that proud to proud fly, to fly Kubacek. Kubacek. So a Kubacek <laughs> balloon there. Again, Kubacek, one of the manufacturers that's here uh, this week. They are a balloon manufacturer out of the Czech Republic, by the way. Oh, there is TikTok. TikTok. Yep, that is the big round alarm clock that is just uh, beginning to cold inflate now. He's way down in the northwest corner, right around where uh, Sheriff Armadillo is. Spidey Pig, Spidey Pig being and cold inflated. There is first in flight just beyond the two kids on the crown line there. First in flight is a replica of the very first hot air balloon built by the Montgolfier brothers, and the first passengers were a sheep, a duck, and a rooster. And you can see them in uh, full 3D. Uh, well, we're seeing the sheep, the shape. duck, and the rooster around the other side. Yeah, well, we can see the duck you just about. The, the rooster's there. a little bit further away. Hey, there's the lighthouse. That's going to be Josh Cato flying that. Bob the lighthouse is the name. Bob. There's the rooster on first in flight. Great yeah. work tonight by our camera guys who are un out in and among our special shapes, giving us these close-up look look looks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and there's uh, Sean Aiken with his fishbowl balloon. I was just looking at that and about to go there, and you beat me to it. The balloon is actually called something fishy. That's kind Sean, of cool. when I was uh, learning to fly balloons back in the 80s, Sean was just a little kid, and now he's yeah. a grown man. Well, that's because you're an old geezer now. Well, so. <laughs> I'm, yeah, unfortunately, that's exactly right what Right alongside means. a slightly older geezer. Yeah. There's, uh, see the genuine black sheep and uh, made in Brazil. That's the that back end. That is the back of, end of, of Monty. Uh, Monty. Yeah, as in the full Monty. Um, I have my little plush Monty sitting on the dashboard right behind my, or kind of supporting my Balloon Fiesta Live license plate. There's Elvis. Elvis is in the building. Right in front of him is the saguaro dude, the big saguaro cactus. And there is uh, Bucky Beaver that's beginning to take shape. So again, watch if you're down around there. Watch for him during the glow because I think you can still see Mr. Potato Head hiding inside Bucky Beaver. And on the left side, that tall pig there. Oh, look at this. Those are the eyes of, of Speedy, Speedy 
and TikTok, the clock, is reflecting in his eyes. Whoa, I've never I seen nev- that I, before. I never noticed that either. No, I've never noticed that. Wow. What a crack camera crew we have who are you capturing these images. <laughs> so wow. I started to talk about the tall pig we saw in the background there. It used to be called Farmer Pig. Now he actually has a name. Okay. Chris P. Bacon. Chris, oh, <laughs> yeah. I like it. I like it. Yeah, yeah. There is our Volkswagen bus. That is our little uh, VW wind van with the two surfboards on top and uh, all the cool, probably hippies, hanging out inside. There's Crispy Bacon. There's Crispy Bacon. Okay. Yep. That's a neat name for a balloon like that. It is. It is. There's a ear of corn in the back pocket of that shape. Oh, yeah? Okay. Yeah, it's it's kind of just behind the other balloon. Now, look it up inside the VW yeah. bus here. Oh, it's got a cat. Okay, I like that balloon already. <laughs> <laughs> There's yeah. a cat traveling with him. I and, used to travel with my cat, as a matter of fact. Oh, they got a dog in there, too. All right. There good. you go. Yeah. Got both groups to, covered there. Equal opportunity balloon flyer. Yeah. There's Bucky Beaver, and, and you can frogs. almost, yeah. yeah. See if you look, if you can just about see the black smile outline there for a second. That's behind those big old jowls. So and and some, you can trust me. When he glows tonight, you'll be able to see um, what was the face of Mr. Potato Head in the background there. And the, this is another example of that front end having to be filled up with the cold exactly. air. Exactly. Yeah. Because the balloon is inflated and it's nice and warm, but, but now got the con- air is still having to work its way yeah, into Yeah, they have to continue to add heat for the air to expand and then fill out those jowls there and on the front. And you can see it as you can just see the, with the movement on there as the heat gets into yeah. there. Yeah, yep. And there's the two frogs that are right behind it. And there's the Milky Way. There's, uh, is that the little, no, is that little prince or is that the... Yeah, the yellow on yeah. the left-hand side, kind yep. of between Milky Way and the uh, uh, other and one. The mouse, I think that was. There. Yep, yep, yep. I think that's Little Prince. There's another look up inside one of the shapes. Again, this is really if you're out and about and, and where you can look up in the balloons, you might be very surprised to see what you find in there. With oh, that's oh, that's, that's looking, looking back up. in. There's the smile. That's the Mr. Potato Head smile that's yeah. hidden on Bucky Beaver now because of those jowls. Because of those big old jowls. But end. but trust me, when he glows and lights up, you can see right through those jowls and see that smile in the background. But that's cool. That's another crack shot by our uh, photography team. We Wind are Fire all Productions. over this tonight. I'm telling you, they're just knocking it right out of the park. I hope the folks. I haven't even looked at the comment, uh, the chat room in, on the Facebook feed. I hope folks are enjoying it because we're practicing show we've got. their flame emojis over here. On, yeah, on, uh, mine YouTube. haven't mine haven't started that yet. I haven't noticed that. But um, somebody says uh, watching on, from tonight on the big TV to avoid the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like too many people. I tell you, this might be the biggest crowd we've had all week. Saturday morning was huge, but look at all the people on the left yeah, yeah. left side of the field. Yeah. And well, all along, uh, yeah, and they're all starting to move out to the west. I think that's just because it's so jammed up over there along the main street that they're spreading right on out across the field. There is uh, Lulu, the other uh, cheetah balloon you were talking about. We had a shot of them for just a moment there. Will Randall, yeah, there's part of the crowd that's out here. Uh, Keith Berry has just started the the flame emojis and the twinkle emojis uh, for our uh, flicker and or twinkle burns that will be coming up shortly once we get the glow underway tonight. I think the zebras, uh, let's see, who's looking? Uh, Nick is looking for a shot of the zebra. That would be Mr. Z. Lots of folks. He was way out on the north end this morning. We'll see where he might be. I was going to say lots of folks taking selfies tonight. I just see my family and friends downstairs doing that very thing in sponsor hospitality. They were all huddled up. The girls were all huddled together taking uh, selfies with all the balloons behind them. There's uh, Jen and Trish. Uh, getting another second shot. So, yeah, lots of selfie taking going on tonight. Yeah, hey, get, Patty. Get, get those selfies now with some light. With and some then light. And then later you're going to get the selfie with the glow. When the balloons are all lit up and glowing, that's the time to get those selfies too. Yeah. Absolutely. Hey, this is also a good time to make sure you know how to turn the video setting on your camera that's on. That's right. Because we'll and be doing, the slow-mo. And the slow-mo because we'll be doing some flicker burns tonight. And trust me, you want to capture that on video in slow-mo if your camera has that capability or your phone has that capability or your camera phone or whatever the heck you're shooting stuff with tonight. Yeah, yeah. Just so take a little whatever bit of time while it's electronic still Electronic device is. Make sure you know the difference but where to find fo- the photo, the video, and the slow-mo video. Yeah. So that you can. And we'll give you a hint as to when to use which one. 
because then the, you're uh, going to want to uh, be able to take care of those. Yeah, the slow mo video is really fun to capture when we've got the flicker birds going. Exactly. So that will be a lot of fun. So that's a highlight you'll want to watch for tonight. There's the backside of Pencil Boy in the center, right next to the right next to Elvis. Elvis, in his white suit. Elvis. Yeah. He, he. I don't. I don't do a good Elvis, so I won't. Do I that. don't either. Yeah. I don't either. About all I could do is Elvis has left the building. That's right. Yeah. But he has it. He's right there in the middle of the field, ready to glow for us. Hey, Jose de Leon is, says hello to the Windfire production crew from Southwest Florida. Great memories as a former crew member. Yeah, and the truck just said, hey, my old cameraman. So, yeah. So, Jose says hello. To all you. Steve says hi, Jose, from down in the truck. There's Vampirilla. Steve is directing all us tonight. You get the idea of some lighting up a little bit here. We still got a little bit of a few more minutes yeah, before it really gets dark. But you can begin to get a, a sense of what the glow is all about. If you, if you, on the odd chance you've never seen a balloon glow, what happens is they all stay on the ground. We're not flying tonight, but they all have these burners where they burn the propane as a liquid, which makes for a very bright yellow ragged flame. But it produces, it, yes, he said, it produces a lot of light. And yes. so the balloons light up like like Chinese paper lanterns or like giant fireflies. Um, and and, and they, we use the term, they glow. And so that's what we're all about tonight. And you're going to be seeing that in just another few minutes. There's a close-up of some of the folks taking a ride in that uh, VW bus. Yeah, taking pictures of the glow. Look at the driver. I'm not sure I'd want to be riding with him right now. <laughs> <laughs> He's just excited about looking at all the special shapes out that there. That must be it. That must be it. And there is Princess, Princess Nelly right next to the big hug. That's the golden uh, bear and the sky blue elephant giving each other a hug. And we've all had days when we need a hug, haven't we? Yeah, you bet. And the black and white down right to the right-hand side on the screen of Princess Nelly. That's the con. Oh, and I think we, and well, we are. We're right down in this shot. We're in the midst of the Sky Safari team from the UK because that is the back of the brand new special shape Pico the Peacock. peacock, yeah, the yellow there with the then the red. Yep, and those white. are the yeah, peacock's the the feathers. Spots on the feathers. Yep, and as it stands up, Pico is a very nice kind of a teal blue. Just to its right, that is Simbalu the lion that's beginning to inflate, and I'm guessing that's either it might be the penguin, one of the penguins beside him. Kind of looks like it. Could be West the wolf, but I'm thinking it's one of the penguins. They're well out of our view from up here because they're way down in the uh, northeast North. corner. Uh, but the entire Sky Safari fleet from Longleat is here. Uh, there's uh, Duma the cheetah. There is Simbaloo the lion. We've got the three penguins, Puddle, Splash, and Tall Steve. There is uh, Wes the wolf. Uh, the panther is here. Just a, a, an entire menagerie. Uh, all brought to us by Andrew Holly. So. And we're seeing the top of one of our pumpkin balloons. Oh, yes. That's one of the jack-o'-lantern balloons. And I was right. The other day we, were, we, we couldn't recall. But it is a black uh, face on one side as you're looking at the picture in the spotting yeah, app, right. but on the other side it is yellow. And there's Michael Glenn. Yep. He is our wheelchair pilot. And he would be with Joelle. He'll the be with Joelle, the baby bee. That's yeah. right. And he's sitting in what we call one of those chariot type operations where it's two people sitting side by side, but there's no basket. It's kind of like uh, the, the rig you sit in when you're riding in a Ferris wheel. This doesn't have the bit that wraps up around in front of your feet. And no safety bar. And no safety bar, but um, I think they're safety belted in. Yes, they are, but no bar. But no they, bar, yeah, no. Yeah, because in here you can strap yourself in, but on a Ferris wheel you've got you've somebody got throwing bar the bar that, down yeah. that can lock you in. But it's it's just kind of that similar feeling, uh, the, the space that you have. It's two people sitting very, very much side by side in very close quarters. And uh, so, yeah. Good to see Michael Glenn here with us. Let's see. There's that's Lulu the cheetah that's beginning to glow there. There's Sheriff yep. Armadillo on the screen. There TikTok is TikTok. Is, now standing. is finally standing up. And uh, oh, there's the little dog. There's the Moonscape. Was that what was did you say? Was the official name of that balloon was Lunar something or? L yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll we'll have to look it up. I've just been calling it the Moonscape or the Moon all week long. Magic um, Luna. Magic Luna. Yeah. Okay. And the pilot is, uh, that name's not right. <laughs> I can okay. tell by looking at that name, that's not right. <laughs> so, yeah. Hey, it's just about, oh, and I see, um, I talked about her this morning. Uh, the um, 
I was going to say birthday, but that's not the right word. The party? The party balloon, yep. yes. With all the, uh, with the, all the, other, with all the other little uh, balloons yeah. on it. Yeah, it's got a balloon on one side that says happy birthday, and then on the other side it's just got a uh, party uh, balloon. And there it is. Yeah, there we are looking at it. They are cold and plain. That is uh, Cheryl, and I'm trying to get to it in the spotting app so I can remember her last name. I should remember it because I talked to her when that balloon was brand new. There it is. We did an interview with her and featured her on the cover of Ballooning Magazine. That is the balloon party. Cheryl Reichert uh, from El Cajon, California. And uh, that's an awfully fun balloon. It's getting dark. Just about. We've got a few more balloons to get inflated, but it's just about time to start glowing. Here comes Smokey Bear. Yeah. And, and as we always say, ladies and gentlemen, it is Smokey Bear, not Smokey the Bear. You don't say Santa the Claus, and so it's not Smokey the Bear. His name is Smokey Bear. And I saw the uh, snowman, and you said, well, that's Mr. Winter? Mr. Winter, yep, that's its official name. There out in the crowd is <laughs> uh, one of the alien characters, the uh, Astro the Alien. Uh, Lee Hooper is here with us from the U.K., and uh, sometimes his crew gets assimilated uh, into these uh, aliens who walk around down by the balloon and uh, are quite a crowd favorite wherever they go. So uh, watch for that. And especially appropriate this year, this is the 51st Albuquerque International Balloon Our Fiesta. Our theme is the view from above, and of course you have to, maybe if you don't make the connection right away, 51st, Area 51, 51 which is not aliens. too far from way here, aliens. Well, with all the renewed the, um, emphasis on looking at UFOs. Which and they don't even call UFOs anymore, anymore but remember yeah. the, the the alleged weather balloon that was, you know, discovered down in Roswell, New Mexico, yes. way back when, that was supposed to yep. be an alien ship and all of that. And somewhere in Area 51, there are aliens living amongst us and being studied and all that. All stuff. the secretive, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah so, all that great stuff. Well, then there was. I heard a report on the news just earlier this week that some of the dust that's coming off the asteroid that NASA just brought back, yeah, that that stuff shows evidence of water. And so, therefore, life, and they're really excited about what's going to come out of that. And that's just the dust off the outside of the container they brought back. Wow. That's yeah. pretty awesome. So that's going to renew that whole conversation yes. about what is out there, yeah. what other life is out back there. Back in the day, there was Project Blue Book, which was an investiga the original investigation by the Air Force, I think, into... UFOs, which they're now calling something entirely different. Yeah, yeah. I, hey, I, I was know. looking for Augie. There he is. There he is. Yeah. Another one of those uh, dragons, Augie the dragon, a favorite of a number of kids here. Is he a dragon? I thought I heard one time he was like a lake monster from up in North Carolina. Well, if you're from up there, that's probably what he is. For the rest of us, he's kind of a okay. dragon yeah. monster, etc. Yeah. And there is uh, what? Oh wait, that's uh, what's the one with the two get, names? Get your puppy dogs. Oh, yeah. that's oh, that's no, that's Teddy and no, Lindy. No, that's Teddy and Lindy. Teddy and Lindy, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That bow throws me off every single time. I know. We thought for a minute that that was, or you thought for a minute that was Buster and Bella, the two bulldogs, yep. boyfriend and girlfriend yep. that are here. But no, that's uh, that is Teddy and Lindy. That is Fabio Lopez, uh, who is here from Torres, Rio Grande do Sol, Bouve Island, which I think all translates into somewhere down in Brazil or South America. Yeah. There's a great shot of the Keystone Cop and, and the, the convict. Yeah, the con, right, yep. side by side. Yep, Joe August is uh, in the con. And let's see if I can quickly get to who is flying Willie. That would be Will Laporte. Will Laporte. I was going to say, I think those are both his balloons. There yeah. was also a shot of the... But you uh, can't fly them both No, you cannot. Yourself. you right. got to have someone have else another help pilot. You. Yeah. yeah, there exactly. was a good shot of the. in that shot was the barn, and the cow was in the barn. Yes. So the, yep. hay's, the hay's in the barn, or the cows are in the barn, or whatever that saying is. Yeah. Look Keith. at that line up there. Yeah. Keith Berry says, you know, as vast as the universe is, it would be awfully conceited to think we are the only life out there. And Keith Berry, I can tell, like me, you watched far too many episodes of, um, oh, and now I'm going to have a senior moment and forget. Who was the professor that did the, uh, the show about uh, uh, space and intelligent life? Carl Sagan. Oh, okay. Carl, I can't remember the name of the show, but anyway. Hey, let's get this out of the way real let's do quick. It. Let's yeah. do this, and then we're going to get gonna started. Get busy. With, yeah, we're going to get really busy. We're going to get our balloon glow going. But first off, I need to tell you really quickly that you can win your very own Balloon Fiesta Live 
replica license plate. This is a pattern that was popular here in New Mexico for right. a number of years. It was an years. official New Mexico license plate it, for a number it, of years. It really was. I have one on my car with my um, okay. name on it as well. We are giving away three of these every single session here at Balloon Fiesta on Balloon Fiesta Live. Thanks to our good friends at the Sign Store and Al Padilla. We've worked with him to uh, make these and make them available to you. All you have to do is give us your contact information, name and email, and give us a few other comments as well. You can do that by going and scanning the QR code that we just put on the screen. If you can't see this QR code, or maybe you can't be by the walls or somewhere along the line, taking you're pictures, busy whatever. doing stuff, all you have to do is go to balloonfiesta.com, click on this year and the Balloon Fiesta Live page, and the very same link is there as well. You don't have too many chances left to win, but you can still get your name in, and we are drawing three names every single session, and uh, I have tonight's names. Okay, and just a reminder, please register only once, because if you try to stuff the ballot box, we'll throw those entries out. Uh, once you've registered, you're in for the drawings for the remainder of Fiesta Week. And once again, our random Which is number generator only a couple of days yeah, left, yeah. has picked names from day one and from uh, earlier today. And then so it doesn't matter when you registered. If you've registered, you're in with a chance to win. And our winners tonight are Joseph <laughs> Naranjo from Rio Rancho, New Mexico, Wells Jones from Albuquerque, and from Boise, Idaho, Harold Homier. I okay. think that's how you say or that. Homier. Homier. That's Could how be. we would say it in Louisiana. Yeah. Homier. So, Harold, Wells, and Joseph, you are the winners of tonight's Balloon Fiesta Live replica license plate. I will contact all the winners after Balloon Fiesta is over, so next week sometime, and make arrangements to have them mailed to you or for you to be able to pick them up here in town. Hey, I think to celebrate the announcement of the winners, we ought to start with an Auburn. What do you think? Let me get the... Um, Get, your, get your radio so you can talk to the pilots. There it goes. But, ladies and gentlemen, I think we're going to kick things off. It's plenty dark now to do our first all burn of the night. Good evening, pilots. We are ready to get going with our Glodio tonight, and we are going to start with an all burn. We're going to count it down from five, and we'd like everybody to count down with us. When we get to zero, that's when the burn starts. So here we go, an all burn coming up in five, five four, four. Three, two, one, all burn! That's an okay start. That's uh, not bad for a start. We still got a couple of balloons that are inflating and not quite upright yet, so. And uh, probably still uh, tweaking the lines and making sure the yeah, top yeah. is set and all that good all stuff. All that there. sort of yeah. stuff. But yeah, that was a good start. And again, ladies and gentlemen, we would remind you that when we do these countdowns, we welcome you uh, to count down at the top of your voice with us because the more noise we all make together, we've improved the PA through the years and now it can be heard pretty much through the field. But a lot of times these balloons absorb our sound. So if you will count down with us, if you'll put your voices with ours, then we make sure that all the pilots hear the cues and know when to do uh, the all burns and flicker burns as we move through the evening. So, yeah, join us, help us. We'd appreciate it. That's right. Let's get another all burn in quickly and get everybody woken up here and ready to get going. Another all burn, please, in five, four, three, two, one, all burn. Yeah, now there we're we kicking go. with propane. Look at that crowd. Yeah. My gosh, there's Darth Vader and Yoda. There's uh, Pico, the uh, special shape from uh, St. Jean sur Richelieu, the blue uh, with the black polka dots, the blue wings, the big carrot nose. Brand new envelope just for a uh, guy yeah. here just in time yep. for Balloon Brand Fiesta. new version of that, that yeah. shape. Hey, there's ones. the stork right in the center of oh, things Oh, yeah, that's well. uh, Great Expectations. Speaking of new envelopes, that's the second version of that yes. one. Yes, yep. As that well, was uh, it, that was originally brought to us by Dr. Steve Comadina. Is he still flying it? Uh, or this is, is his son his flying, son it flying it now. now. Okay. And when Dr. Steve was flying it, we called it Great Expectations. Right. And now we call it The Stork. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, so, yeah. we changed it to the, they to, changed it to The to Stork. The Stork. Balloon. Yeah, because okay. that's, that's what everybody called it, well, The Stork Balloon. Yeah, you know and it that's is. what yeah. it was, yeah. Yeah. The Stork. That's, that's what that was. Okay. Yep. Yeah. All right, well. 
So that's the, that's the little trivia there. As when I was a student pilot, I actually got to fly the stork balloon with Dr. Steve. Did you? Yeah, we were up in Taos for a balloon rally, and it was kind of like we had our balloon, and in packing it up, we put a little rip in the top so yeah. we weren't flying. So Steve said, come on, fly with us. Steve was, Dr. Steve was a great guy. Is a great guy. He's a great guy. Uh, I don't mean to say past tense. Is a great guy. Um, I remember many years ago, I showed up out here, and I was having some chest pains or thought I was not feeling well, and I called Dr. Steve and said, is there somebody here that could see me, can help me out, just yeah. want to make sure everything's okay? And everything was fine. I mean, yeah. It was no problem. But he did. He got on the phone that night and called one of the local cardiologists and uh, got me the uh, the attention that I needed. So Dr. Steve's always been a great friend. And on the board of directors here a long time. A long time. Well. That's right. All right. Let's get another all burn in here, please. Enough of the stories. And let's get another all <laughs> burn. Get your cameras ready. Get your voices ready. Count with me, please. Here we go. Five, four, four three. Two, one, Auburn! Look at the glow. Yeah. Yeah. That's nice. Baby T Rex with the white fabric. Even the green one. Oh, yeah. Look, it's like every one of these is lighting up really nicely yeah. tonight. Well, the lighter color fabrics obviously glow best. Um, you know, a black balloon doesn't glow that well. Uh, a blue balloon, I've always thought is interesting because it usually tends to glow kind of a silvery color. Yeah. Well, um, and, you know, with the newer fabric being thinner and lighter, and lighter weight, weight yeah. all of them glow just a little That's bit true. more. That's so. true. That's very true. Yeah. 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 But white balloons in particular, white or yellow, are always great colors for a balloon glow. Hey, so let's uh, switch your cameras over to the video mode. Switch your cameras over to the video mode. We're going to have all of our folks take a video while we do a flicker burn, a flicker or a twinkle burn, and we're giving everybody a moment to get their cameras switched to video. Video mode on your cameras. Video mode. And Carl Sagan's TV show is called Cosmos, by the way. Just, uh, again, our audience right on top of it. All right, video mode is set. Here comes the flicker twinkle burn in five, four, three, two, two one, flicker burn. Here's an interesting comment in our Facebook group. Dina Ashton says, Harold Homie, you won, meaning our license plate. And he says, send it home with Monty the Black Sheep Hot Air Balloon. He is crew chief. Oh, wow. Okay. So, yeah. So yeah. We'll, make, we'll make that connection ahead of time as yeah, opposed so, to waiting until so next week. We'll get somebody from the Monty team to come back up and see us, and we can hand deliver uh, their license plate. Yeah, Excellent. now the, the Facebook group's going crazy with the fire emoji, the all burns. I still had the list up, so I was not. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so is YouTube. <laughs> yeah. 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 Great. Great. Yeah, pilots, uh, just to let you know, the folks on Balloon Fiesta Live with the <laughs> Facebook and YouTube, they're uh, glowing and emojiing flames right with you. Cheryl Compton says, I'm counting down in my living room in Ohio with you. It is such a beautiful all burn. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Love it when the audience gets into the spirit of things, no matter where they are around the world, either here on Balloon Fiesta Park with us or watching online. Since you're still on video, let's do another flicker burn so that you have another shot at a video with a flicker burn. And if you have slow-mo, maybe think about doing that this time. It is fun to see. All right, here we go. A flicker burn for the video in five, five four, four, three, Two, one, flicker. We were just talking about Dr. Steve Comedina. The comment here from Lisa Crane says, amazing. I was wondering if Dr. Comedina was still flying. He delivered my youngest son, who is now 43 years old. Yeah, what a great glow we are having tonight. Yeah, now we've got the, the, the uh, twinkle emergent, uh, emojis or flicker emojis going on as well. Yep. 
So if you're wondering why we don't continually just kind of burn through and just let everything light up for you, the idea is, is every one of those burns puts a lot of heat in the top of the balloon. And usually the top of the balloon's at least 100 degrees warmer than it is on the ground, and the fabric can only take a certain amount of temperature, usually somewhere between 250 and 300 degrees. So when we have one of those long burns, it puts a lot of heat in the top of the balloon, and again, over-temping it starts destroying the fabric. So we give the balloons a little chance to cool down a little bit, yeah. and uh, then we can have a little bit longer glow. And if they're at all concerned, they also have the ability to open the vent, the top vent, and let a little of that heat escape um, if there's any concern about putting too much heat in the balloon. And if we heat them up too much, they would also want to take flight. They'd yeah, be lighter than air part. and get off the ground, and yep. we don't do that at we, night. Nope. So that that's would be another reason all the rules. why we have to wait a few minutes between each glow to give the balloons time to be cooled down. All right, let's go back to an all burn, please. How about an all burn? This would be a great time for all of the crew to take selfies with the burners and the balloons. So this is an all burn for selfie portraits. Selfie portraits and an all burn. Here we go. Five, four, four three, three, two, two one, one, all burn. burn. Someone's yeah. listening to you yeah, down there. Yeah, we're you're watching on the, on our camera speed here. We were seeing people someone taking, taking those selfies. selfie fix yep. pictures. That's great. That's great. All right. Yeah. Big old Mr. Saguaro. Evo. I don't think we mentioned Evo yet tonight. Yeah, the first blue time monster. I think we've seen him. The blue monster there. It's right next to Augie there. Somebody, uh, Jennifer Jennings, saying, "Can we see? Please see baby T Rex." Well, he's glowing right now, just as we said that. Uh, we saw him a little earlier. We might get back around to him before the night's out. Um, different camera angles capturing different balloons as they're out on the field. There's, there he is. There's, gonna... You can't really see baby T-Rex, but that's the egg that he's cracking out of uh, right there. Interesting that he's right next to, next to the start. To the so start, which is also cracking, cracking out, of, an out of an egg. And a, a T-Rex cracking out of an egg. Yeah. yeah. How about an all burn, please? An all burn. Here we go. All burn in five, five four, three, two, one. All burn. Look at that. Yeah. If you're looking at the video all or watching online, that's impressive. The crowd is impressive tonight. There it is. is a, there it is, is a bunch of people out here tonight. It is. Wow. There's the VW bus and the uh, Jada, the green elephant, is glowing. There's again the Xfinity balloon with their hearts on the side. The Creamland uh, team has their round balloon out tonight. Hey, I think uh, we've got a great crowd here. I bet the crowd could light up the field nicely with their cell phones. So. All of you that have a cell phone out there, get ready to turn the flashlight on. We're going to ask all the crowd to turn their flashlights on when we do this next all burn. So crews, if you can hear us, get ready with your flashlights. Don't turn them on until we get to the countdown. This is going to be an all burn and an all flashlight cell phone light them up type of deal. So That's get ready. Mouthful. Yeah. So get your cell phones ready to light up the field. We're going to count it down, and if you turn it on early, just kind of hide it and then just flash it up when we get to the bottom of the countdown. So this is an all burn and all cell phone. Everybody light up the field. Everybody, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Everybody light it up. You look great out there. That's a great shot of uh, Darth Vader almost with a star field in front of him, it looks like. Yeah, yeah. 
Here's Good that. job. Good Rick, job. Raven O'Shields in the Facebook chat room is after my heart. She says, my cat Merida is watching and just looked at me in shock when the all burn happened. <laughs> We've had a lot of great pictures of uh, folks in the audience online sending us uh, pictures of their pets that are watching. A lot of dogs. That's the first one I've seen that has a cat watching, so good for you. Excellent. Excellent. We'll do it. We're going to do another one of those in a few minutes. Yeah. But we, yeah, we'll get back to that. So we'll let you get back to taking some pictures. In fact, I think it's time for one of those uh, flicker burns, which, of course, as we said, is great for video and even better for slow-mo slow -mo video. Absolutely. Coming up next is going to be a flicker burn, and we're asking folks to take a slow-mo video. A slow-mo video for our next Flickr burn coming up in just a few seconds. Well, we're suggesting they do that. It's No, you have to, yeah. It's not like we're asking them to do it for us. No. We're just suggesting that they'll enjoy that if they do it themselves. Yes, you will. We can, we can pretty much guarantee that Absolutely. You, will enjoy, you will enjoy it. You will enjoy the slow-mo video. So we suggest that we do it. Yeah. I'm Highly fine. suggest. I, I'm just picking at you. you know I that. know you are. You know. I know. All right. Here comes the flicker burn. Everybody's got their camera on slow-mo. Go ahead and start the slow-mo camera so that you get into the slow-mo by the time the flicker starts. Slow-mo camera is on. Here we go. Five, Five four, three, two, two one. Flicker. flicker. Yeah, that's going to look really good in slow mo. Yeah, there's Bandit. That is uh, Diane Carlson's oh, yeah. special shape. Haven't seen her for a day or two. No, I, I've not seen. Uh, well, I've seen the balloon, but I've not seen Diane Actually, at all. Actually, right, this I haven't year. seen her. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't seen her at all this busy year. Busy in her Plano pins booth. Yep, and I ha we've been busy up here. I haven't got down to the field yet. I'm, I'm hoping to see a lot of the pilots tomorrow at the awards uh, banquet. You know, all of our uh, balloons and our especially our special shapes were given balloon cards, and I know that they've been giving them out all week. They may actually be on the empty side of that yeah. box, uh, but all, they also were given balloon pins, and Plano Pins, who made all those pins for Balloon Fiesta and our special shapes, yeah. actually has them for sale ah. in the Plano booth tent down there, Okay, and they are just off of the, one of the official merchandise tents. Outstanding. So, so if you've uh, got a favorite special shape, go by and pick up a pin. Go by and the, pick up one of the pins. Yeah, from Plano shape. Pins over there. Thanks to Diane Carlson and Plano Pins, and uh, Britt Lee, who is over there now, yep. kind of running the show. Yeah. Uh, Plano Pins also makes all of the official Balloon Fiesta pins that you uh, have available to you in the merchandise booth, or that you can pick up from people like Art or me or any of the rest of the Balloon Fiesta Live crew. Art or me, aren't you Art? Oh yeah, Glenn or me. There you go. Art right. or Glenn. Yeah, you can pick up our official announcer pins if you bump into either me or Art. Let's get an all burn in please, an all burn. All burn, here we go in five, five four, four, three, two, one, all burn. Don't forget, too, as exciting as this is, there is a lot more to come. We still have fast tracks to jump with their pyrotechnic nighttime show. Then we have our drone show that is enlarged almost uh, twice as large as last year. 300 drones last year, 500 in the show this year. And then coming up a bit later tonight, the Afterglow fireworks, which are always spectacular. And music on the Main Street stage, On the stage Main Street too. stage, that's right. Yep. So we're so just getting night. started tonight. Yeah. The night is still young. Look at how Monty is just kind There's, of glowing in, the, in yeah. the night light anyway. Yep. Doesn't even have to light the balloon up. Yeah. He doesn't. So. <laughs> Getting a text from a friend of mine on something else that we do. Somebody Thanks, asked Sandy. me, is that Tom and Jerry I see? Well, yeah, yes and yes no. And no. We're not supposed to say. Yeah. How about an all burn, please? Another all burn. Here we go. Five, four, four three, three, two, one. All burn. burn. The Monty's eyes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, there's Bucky Beaver, and I just I was just looking, and I could not see. 
I think it's just a little bit around the side. I think a little bit different angle would give you the smile. Maybe so. Okay. Yeah, a little yeah. more straight on. I've probably been telling yeah. everyone to watch for that in there. I couldn't see it, so <laughs> that's a shame. Oh yeah. Yeah, and the emojis are just going crazy in the Facebook chat group. They are. That's, you wonder uh, what somebody who come you know stumbles on this video later and they kind of hit that part of the chat. They're just kind of scrolling through, and all of a sudden, the chat yeah. just kind of explodes Full of fire emojis. with all these fire like, what? emojis. What's going on? Well, somebody is watching, and they commented earlier that they just stumbled upon our feed for the first time tonight. Said, Whoa, oh, my gosh. Yes. I just, what's all this balloon stuff going on? I you know, I think that happens probably daily. This. Probably so. Yeah. yeah. And a good time to remind you that all seven years of Balloon Fiesta Live are available for your watching enjoyment. Binging enjoyment or uh, keeping you awake at night or putting you <laughs> yeah. to sleep at night, whichever Either works one. for you. All seven years on the Balloon Fiesta Live page, which is at balloonfiesta.com. And by the way, officially, it is Terry Mouse and Tom Cat. Oh, there we go. Good. Because, you know, there Look are. Look at how steggy glows. Yeah. Well, he's got that, that kind of that light really blue, light fam, almost yeah. sea foam. That, remember yeah. the color sea foam green in your Crayola box? If you had the 64 Crayolas? Yes. It's kind of that color. Yeah. Yeah. But All right, so let's get ourselves, uh, oh, let's do a flicker bird. Okay. Let's do a flicker. I see a bunch of balloons out there on the north end. They're doing, it themselves. Uh, doing their own flicker. And hey, guys, so wait for us. <laughs> We're, who's running this show anyway? I think that was a hint <laughs> that we should call a flicker bird. All so right. here we go, a flicker bird in five, five four, four, three, three two, two, one, flicker. We can take a hint. Yep, we can. I just love all the orange and yellow that yeah. just explodes and just pops off the screen when we do this. Just a wall of that kind of color. And if you're still standing around the edges of the field, I'm going to encourage you to walk into the middle now. Walk out into the middle so that you're close to a balloon, nice and close to a basket, or even just in the, where there's balloons around you. So if you're on the outside, kind of move into the inside and get a feel in uh, really in, uh, just embrace the power, the heat, the sound, the light that's gonna happen during our next all burns. I'm gonna give you about 10 seconds to start moving that way. Well, in that case, they better run, not walk. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll give you another 10 seconds. Oh, look at the moon. Look at the moon. Um, no, on the... On, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Yeah, lunar. Yeah, um, magic Luna. Yeah, magic Luna. Yeah, I, you said look at the moon, and I looked up into the sky. <laughs> what are you yeah. thinking? <laughs> yeah. Tomorrow we'll all be looking at the moon with the sun behind it and our annular eclipse annular tomorrow. Eclipse, that's right. Right after our mass ascension. By the way, it is not safe to look at the sun tomorrow, even during the eclipse. You really absolutely must have special viewing glasses. Right, and we have those. Yes, we do. They'll be giving them out as you come into the field in the morning, but we have a commemorative set that you can pick up at our merchandise tents. Right, they're just uh, three bucks, and they've got balloons on the, uh, the stems of the, uh, of the glasses. And a lot of facts about the Eclipse Yeah, they come in a neat little well. uh, trifold brochure with lots of great in factual information in it. And they're kind of like reminiscent of the 3D glasses you used to get when you went to see a 3D movie. Do have those when you come out tomorrow. There are apparently are people that have been selling them all around town. And apparently they are out, but our official merchandise tents do have them. Get your glasses tonight so you don't have to worry about getting them in line tomorrow. How about an all burn, please, an all burn. Here we go, all burn in five, five four, four, three, two, two one, all, all burn. burn. Looking good, looking good. Indeed. Of course, as we wrap down our uh, Special Shapes Glodio tonight, Fast Tracks will be dropping in about 7.30 with their pyrotechnics in the sky. I think I hear the plane above already getting ready for that jump. I think I do too. Yeah, there it is. Our uh, Crack Wind Fire oh, Production yep. team able to pick it up for those of you watching online in the feed. Let's do a flicker burn. Let's do a flicker burn, please. 
The drone show, the drone that folks are watching. So here we're going to do a flicker. Five, four, three, two, one, flicker bird. I can also see our official drone is working tonight. He's over on the north, uh, rather the southeast corner, just over the pilot pavilion, uh, getting some great aerial video for us and photographs of tonight's Special Shapes Rodeo Glodio. See his navigation lights there in the darkness. Yep. Meanwhile, That's the, the drone I was referring to when oh, we were calling it? that. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. Is he still up there? Yep, he's still there. He's down low now. Okay. Uh, but he was up high. Just as we did that glow, he was up high, and he came zooming down to get a, a moving shot uh, of the balloons. So it should be some great video. All right. With our official drone up taking your picture, let's do an all burn for him. An all burn for the drone guy. Here we go. Five, four, four three, three, two, two one. All, all burn. burn. Looking good. Looking good. Hey, while the balloons are calling off, cooling off, let's try this. How about all cell phones? Cell phones only. <laughs> and I want you to point it up to that drone that's over on the east side. You see the flashing see the green, flashing white, white, and white, red and lights? Green light? yep. Yeah, I want you to point your flashlight up there, but we wait till the countdown. So get your flashlight ready, kind of keep it against your body so it doesn't shine up. This is cell phones only. Cell phones only. Five, four, three, two, one. Cell phones at the drone. Look at all those lights. Nice. 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 That's amazing. Anxious to see that uh, that little video from yeah. our friend, our official drone, taking pictures here tonight for us in video. Always love it when the uh, when the audience is what that's watching is enjoying the show. Uh, Dina Ashton says, "You are the best show reporters and, and MCs. You make this whole event exciting every year." Thanks for the early hours and the long days and spectacular information. Thank you. Well, thank you. And your check is in the mail. That's it. <laughs> or maybe your license plate. <laughs> yeah, maybe your license plate. You might get a free license plate. Hey, commentators, what's a balloon from your childhood uh, you'd like to see as a balloon? Ah, gosh, that's a good question. Wow, I have to think about that one. Yeah. I have to think about that one. Um, gosh, yeah, I mean, I, I first got my first balloon flight back in the 1970s. So, yeah, I'd have to, that's a I hard didn't know question what balloons to were until uh, probably in the, um, around 1983 or 84, shortly after I moved to New Mexico. Well, I was working my first TV job in 1976, and, you know, for the bicentennial, cities all around the country had special events going on. In Houston, Texas, they put together a balloon festival. Oh, yeah. And I saw a report about it on the uh, network Evening News, and so I said, hey, you know, I'm going to get one of the news units and a photographer and drive over there tomorrow morning. That was my first exposure to hot air ballooning was as a TV reporter. Cool. Let's get us an all burn in, please. We do have the Fast Tracks plane in the sky, and they'll be dropping in here shortly. And uh, we'll have their video feed as well. But let's do an all burn so they know where the field is. Ha, 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 All burn in five, five four, three, two, two one. All burn. There's Stryker on the screen. That's the soccer ball. Lulu, the other cheetah, is uh, was on screen there just a moment ago. Now we're down around. I don't know what that was. Oh, that was Beagle Maximus. Okay, thank you. Thanks, truck. Our director Stephen down there in the truck, keeping us on top of things. This, this becomes the in interesting this case, part of the night for me. Underneath things. 
And why is that? Well, because we're calling the all the burns for our balloons on one radio. Yes. Trying to talk to fast tracks, fast tracks on, on another other. one. Okay. And sound like I know what we're talking about here. <laughs> Trying to keep up with what I'm blethering on about, huh? That's it. I got gotcha. you. Well, that's why you're the executive producer and I'm just the hired help, you know? Somebody say Angela Valdez, that popcorn bag still exists. I think they're talking about a special shape that was a bag of popcorn. I don't remember that off the top of my head. Mr. Peanut from the 80s. Yeah, that was, a, I remember that balloon. That was a fun balloon. Um, just see, people are reacting to the question about, you know, balloons from our childhood. Trying to see if anybody else has come up with something totally different. Is the pumpkin jack-o'-lantern up tonight? Yes, it is. We saw it earlier this evening, the one that is black on one side and glowing yellow on the other side. And let's see, great comment for Team Fast Tracks is the best. Yes, they are, and we're very honored they are. to have them here with us. We'll be seeing them jumping in just minutes now. In fact, uh, they're looking down on the field. Quickly, pilots in all burn. Five, four, four three, three, two, two one, one, all burn. burn. Uh, we lost the video. Oh. We're looking at the video feed out of the airplane there. Trying to, yeah, we uh, saw a couple of them. I was going to try and get it in yeah, there while we could still see from the sky. Time. We'll catch them. D. Hyder says, I'm so glad the weather gods are with us tonight. Boy, we are all are. And really all week. All we, yeah, week. We, 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 we had lost one. the events yesterday, but... Yeah, well, we well, had a great start no, in the morning. morning. We really, we really great. only lost last evening. Yeah, actually, you're right. And so, you know, one you session right. out of the, how many have we done so far? Uh, Where there's are 14 we? total, so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is 11. Okay, so one out of 11 yeah. to have lost, that's, that's not even 10%. Right. So, yep. yeah. Yeah. How about a flicker burn, please? A flicker burn. Let's do a flicker. Remember, it's a good time for a video and a slow mo. Flicker burn in five, five four, four, three, three two, two, one, flicker. Hey, a quick shout out to Ray Forsyth, who's watching. Ray was uh, on the staff here at Balloon Fiesta for a number of years. Uh, used to work with the entertainment uh, folks down on the main stage. Was uh, uh, one of my longtime friends here and worked with Ray and his team. So good evening, Ray. Miss seeing you, my friend. Yep. Hello from Arkansas. Henry, you looked at where some of all the people are coming. Yeah, we have a lot Oh, the there. Energizer Bunny. Somebody mentioned that. Oh, yeah, and the remember Levi. Remember the Levi oh, the jeans? the Levi's, yeah. Yeah, and the remember. The basket was off one leg. Yeah, the basket was off one leg. Yeah, yeah, one of the great special shapes. Uh, remember the LeBlatt's Blue? Uh, they had a bottle, I think. Well, there was an era there were a lot of bottles and cans. Yeah, bottles yeah. and cans, yeah, yeah. Let's get another all burn in, please, an all burn. Here we go, all burn in five, four, three, two, one, all burn. Here's another, uh, another couple of uh, special shapes from the past. Remember, uh, obviously, uh, the stagecoach from Wells Fargo and uh, center stage. And then, oh yeah, remember the Fresenet bottle? Yep, that had the, part uh, of that whole the, bottle cattle, uh, cattle, canned uh, era that I was yeah, thinking right. about. Yeah, right. Theirs was a bottle top out of a gold champagne bucket. Coming out of the bucket, yeah. Although they did also have just the regular champagne bottle as well. Yep, number of those. Yeah. What's the name of the new dog shape? There's several new dog shapes. Which one are you talking about? Yeah. Uh, Buster little, and Bella are the two new bulldogs. The more full-size dog sitting up is Little Dog. Is Little Dog, Beagle although he's Maximus, been here in the past. He's been here a while. Yeah, yeah Beagle, Beagle Maximus, Maximus has been here but a he's while. been here a while. Uh, the little two-faced one is uh, Teddy and Lindy. Has kind of a barking male dog on one side and then a female dog with a bow in her hair on the other side. Then there's Wags. And there's Wags. The That's golden uh, retriever. That is uh, Dean, Dean Carlton's. Dean Carlton's. I almost, yes, my neighbor's right. name is Dean Snyder. I almost said it was his <laughs> balloon. No, it's Dean Carlton's balloon. Let's get a flicker burn in here, please. How about a flicker burn? A flicker in five, four, three, two, one, flicker. Yeah, 
Yep, looking good. Yep, Judy Cass reminded me that uh, her husband Gary won the Albuquerque Blue Fiesta some years ago in the Pepsi Globe. Oh, yeah, the Globe. Yeah, the round, you know, logo, yeah. Pepsi logo. Most of us remember the uh, Pepsi can and yes. now the Pepsi football. And the Pepsi football, but yeah, there was also the Pepsi Globe, which is that round red, white, and blue. Uh, logo that Pepsi has, but they had it in, in a, a round globe shape. Kind of the same shape that uh, the uh, Magic Luna balloon is in. Yeah. Oh, the yeah. Burger King Whopper. Yep, that was another wow. one that was around. I actually screwed on that one. I actually set that Did balloon you? up a number okay. of times. Yeah. Well, I my only uh, one of the only two special shapes I ever got to fly. One was the fr uh, was the uh, uh, Financial Times, the rolled up newspaper, right. and I got to fly that one year here at Fiesta on a flight. An all burn, please. Let's do an all burn. All burn. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. All burn. Yeah, somebody just mentioning uh, Jonathan Ramsey, the rolled up newspaper. That was the Financial Times yep. balloon. I, had, uh, I got a, a training flight in that here one year. I got to fly Mataruska. The uh, Russian doll the Russian that, was part of, yeah, yeah. that was part of the Sukhup Thomas fleet. The other shape I had a chance to fly once out in California was uh, the uh, the white polar bear. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. The one balloon I don't want to crew on is Smokey Bear. Why is that? Yeah, it is just really heavy. Is it really? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. I, I have a lot of great friends that fly that, and it's one of those that... You know, if I could fly it but not have to pack it up, that'd be great. Yeah, but, I could. Uh, yeah. They need a lot of crew, as those big balloons do. The tarp weighs 400 pounds. Yeah, yeah packing the polar bear was a nightmare. Yeah, I remember those big that balloons. Too. Yeah, I, my hat, my hat is off to all the crews of our special shapes. Special shapes are just tough to, to work with. They take a lot of extra up. work compared to a yeah, standard balloon. Yeah, and a lot of lot of strong bodies and people working together to put up the special shapes and even more so to take them down. Yeah, Tom Mullinex remembering the Smurf balloon. I remember that from uh, Greenville, South Carolina and Freedom Weekend The Loft. I used to see the balloon there sometimes. That was a good one. The Energizer Bunny, we mentioned that. Uh, oh, Arky, remember Arky? Yep. Yep, the uh, Noah's Ark. Uh, it was kind of a caricature of Noah's Ark with all the animals looking down at the kids on the ground. That was always a, a favorite for young people here. I think that balloon still lives somewhere in Albuquerque, even though we don't fly it. Much. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. There's a, uh, a trailer that uh, has Arky on it, and it's kind of parked over on my side of town. Oh. I think they were calling. Nah, we're still another minute away from uh, getting our live feed reestablished with Team Fast Tracks. There's a look again at the rooster on the side of first in flight. I like how those light up. And just a reminder that Team Fast Tracks skydiving pyrotechnic jump taking place in just the next few minutes is sponsored by Accident Insurance Company, Inc. A new sponsor for us and glad to have them along sponsoring Team Fast Tracks. Somebody said this may be a, a ridiculous question, but what's the name of the happy birthday balloon? Well, it depends. If you're talking about the birthday cake shape, there's that balloon, but we also have the balloon party on the field, which is a balloon with a lot of other balloons around it, and it has a balloon on one side that says happy birthday. So it could be party, or it could just be the birthday cake shape balloon. Uh, it depends on which one you're, you're asking about. Oh, the Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria. Remember those? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that goes back a while. Well, and of course, you know, this morning we made my, I made my donation to, uh, uh, to um, Steve Stucker's thank Beds you. for Kids. Steve Stucker's Beds for Kids with uh, Piggy Bank, and that was a representation of the two uh, flying pig shapes that we used to have, known as Miss Penny and Little Buck. Those go back a few years. The Disney Castle, the Orient Express. Keith Berry, you just got my favorite shape of all time, the Orient Express. Oh, and the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. That was the most incredible balloon I think I've ever seen. Uh, sadly, it was here like for one or maybe two years, and then uh, sadly it was destroyed by fire on a landing uh, at one time. Um, well, and of course, yeah, there's the uh, Sokop Thomas fleet. They had Uncle Sam, Chickaboom, uh, the Marine Corps Bulldog, they had Broomhilda, the Flying Witch, a whole bunch of them. 
I finally got to work with uh, Chicky Boom, Carmen Miranda. That's right. Balloon. I got first to work part with of this that. Week. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's well, because the 40th uh, anniversary of that balloon first appearing here. Outstanding. Well, because Jacques Sokup was here with us for the start of the Gordon Minute race at the first part of the week. Archie was sold to Germany. Somebody says here. Oh, could be. Yeah. I guess I, guess I haven't seen the trailer in the last uh, couple months. So Fast Tracks has their video camera up. Let's give them an all burn. Team Fast Tracks has the video up. Here, let's do an all burn for them, please. Five, four, three, two, one, all burn. Tony the Tiger, another great balloon from back in the day. Oh, that's one of my wife's favorites. Uh, Barry DeLibero, De who flies the uh, space shuttle and the flag and the lighthouse balloons that he has. Yeah. Um, We're going to keep as many of these special shapes up as we can when Team Fast Strikes jumps in. And we'll uh, hopefully have some great shots from the helmet cam as they come in. It'll light up the field. We'll uh, do some very quick burns as they come into the field. Travis McDowell we'll, asking if we're going to be broadcasting live the award ceremony. No, we will not, but we will record it and then post it later in the day. So I was just telling the uh, folks on, on our feed, and I'll tell the pilots as well, once Team Fast Tracks drops in and is coming down, we'll do a bunch of quick burns quick all burns um, so that we can continue to light the field up for that. And I'm going to let you uh, kind of cool off here for the next 30 seconds or so now while that, we get ready for them to jump. I was going to say, now that some of the balloons up here are down, uh, we had a great shot of almost all of the Sky Safari team. There is Simbalu the lion looking at us and glowing nicely. Uh, Pico the peacock was right there. We saw West the wolf. There is Wags, uh, the little dog of Dean Carlton, not part of the Sky Safari team, but right in that same neighborhood. Adelaide the koala right there beside Simbalu the lion. There's one of the penguins. I think that's Puddles. Fast Tracks. Team Fast Tracks about to come over the top of the field. With If you look straight up over the south end of the field, you see the jump plane. Yep. And we are at 730. So we're about to see them. We see them on the feed. There's the jumper away. There's yep, two. two. They sit, there's there's three. three. There's number four. Number f five. Five yep. is out. And... Number six is all out. All right, pilots, let's get an all burn in. Oop, we just lost that. We'll wait just one second. We'll continue to watch fast tracks up above, and as soon as we get the helmet camera back, we're going to get them an all burn here. So stand by for an all burn. Here we go, an all burn in three, two, one, all burn. Yeah, not looking the right direction. Not the best video quality feed yeah. tonight for some reason. And the fast tracks guys are high. Team fast tracks guys are high enough that they can't quite hear us with the radio. But right. if you look up, they're already starting their pyrotechnics in the sky. Yes, they are. So jumping tonight with Team Fast Tracks, we've got Larry, Karen, and Kevin into a double stack pyro. Dimitri is doing a double stack pyro as well as shooting our live feed here tonight. We're going to have Brian and Yulia Pagborn in a double stack into a giant sparkler down plane with the uh, 800 square foot American flag as well. And of course, uh, flying the plane tonight, Thomas Birdwell, piloting Team Fast Track flagship aircraft Patriot. And of course, Matt Harvey is our ground safety specialist tonight as well. The double stack has just formed up. You see the one, two, three jumpers, and then the fourth one that's down to the right and a little bit lower is the double stack, and they are going to come screaming straight down at you, ladies and gentlemen, while we've got fireworks going off up above. They've not gone completely vertical in the stack yet, but here they come, and they literally, their bodies are literally horizontal, parallel to the ground as they come screaming down now, straight down at the center of the field, trailing the sparklers behind them. Look at this. Wow. 
they will break off right like at the meteor last coming moment. Down. It looks, yeah, it looks like a comet or a meteor, a falling star, coming right at you. Right at and there's break. the break. Yeah. Wow. That's impressive. Gotta Let's be. do an all burn, pilots, please. An all burn. Here we go. Five, four, four three, three, two, two one. All, all burn. burn. And our first team fast strike jumper just sliding right in between the balloons. Here comes number two. Yep. There's a view looking down from the sky cam now, from the helmet cam for just a moment. And, and there's, there's the, the landing, landing right in front of Daz. As the flames are still in the sky. And now the rest fireworks. of the fireworks start up in the sky. How about an all burn? Three, two, one, all burn. There we can see the balloons as well as the fireworks from Team Fast Tracks. I commend. Again, uh, Dimitri Dadik has the live helmet cam tonight, watching not only what he's doing as he flies in, watching the fireworks, watching the balloons, trying to keep an eye on the field so that we get a great view from up above. And that's just a teaser, by the way, to the uh, afterglow fireworks we still have coming up this evening. That'll be after the drone show. Right, which is coming up after Team Fast Tracks. A night full of nighttime entertainment. Look at those fireworks in the sky, yeah. all coming from what's left up there. Four jumpers. More than 35 pounds of explosives fireworks strapped to their legs. Yeah, those are in bags that are strapped uh, down from like the knees to their ankles on the back of their thighs. How about an all burn? Their, uh, Quickly, please. Shins, an all burn. Three, two, one. All burn. Yeah, Dimitri getting us a nice shot. Yeah, you know what? Let's try that real quick. You guys have been great with your cell phones and your flashlights. Let's put all the flashlights up to the sky. All the flashlights up in five, four, three, three two, two, one. one. Flashlights up. Wow, look at that. It's like fireworks on the ground and in the sky. guys are all looking good. Team Fast Tracks, our balloons, our spectators, our guests, all with your cell phones. This is a great night here. Our second night, Special Shapes Glodio, taking place here at the 51st Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta. Yeah, how about an all-burn? Pilots, an all-burn. Three, two, two one, all-burn. All Yeah, there's, there's the landing. The Dimitri coming right in. And, yep. yep. And there we go. And by the way, they don't, a lot of times you'll see skydivers come in and do a stand-up landing on their legs because they're carrying all this extra weight in those pyrotechnic bags. These guys come in and slide in on their uh, behinds. Yeah, put the legs out. Kind put of the slide legs in. out. There you go. There's a perfect example of yep. that. Yep. Perfect sliding landing. All right, let's hear it for Team Fast Tracks, sponsored by Accident Insurance Company with an all burn. Three, two, one, all, all burn. burn. Let's hear it for Team Fast Tracks. What a great show with Team Fast awesome Tracks job. and our Glodio. 
And so now go ahead, pilots, it is time for you to go ahead and deflate so that we're all down on the ground and uh, you get to do, unfortunately, the hard job of packing up your balloon tonight. But thank you very much for a great glow tonight, pilots. How about a nice round of applause for the pilots and crew who put on a great show for you tonight in our Special Shapes Rodeo Glodeo. What a great night as well. So again, yes, our balloons are going to deflate because we're going to get the drone show up here in the next about six or seven minutes. There's the Sky Safari balloons on screen. There's Pico, the brand new special shape. And then uh, we've got Simbaloo. There's Pico, the peacock, Simbaloo, and uh, Adelaide, the koala, glowing for you. Down in the southeast, northeast, rather, corner of the field. I don't know why I keep getting... I can never get north and south straight when I'm here. <laughs> I've been here 34 years, and I still don't know which way is north and south. The only reason I got east and west figured out is because I know the mountains are in the east. Mountains are in the <laughs> east, yep. So, again, we're asking our pilots to take their balloons down Yep. so that we can uh, get our drone show off, up and off, and then following the drone show will be the Afterglow Fireworks. And some entertainment on our main, on the main stage. stage. So still right. lots more to do yet tonight. The night Tomorrow is going to be a very full day, starting with our drone show at 545 in the morning. Then our Dawn Patrol show at 6. Our Mass Ascension, well, our Krispy Kreme glow at 630. Right. Then the Mass Ascension at 7. Then we're going to have a balloon glow during the annular eclipse. Now, the annual eclipse starts somewhere around 9.15-ish, I believe. I think that's right. And reaches it, its peak at Yeah, it's about maximum 10 about 10.30, 10 10.35. Right. It'll be at that peak for about four, four and a half minutes or so. And then that continues through the other side of the annularity until a little bit after noon. Balloon glow scheduled in there about the time of the maximum. Music Fiesta starts at 1 o'clock tomorrow. You may have noticed the new the stage, the Music Fiesta stage going in on the north end of the field. Starting off Music Fiesta, local Brandon Sice, then the support act of Runaway June about 2.30, and then at 4 o'clock, it's headliner Lee Bryce. And while all of that's going on in the noonish hour, during right after the eclipse, you and I will be hosting the award ceremony where we'll be announcing the winners of all the uh, competitions during the week, giving away a lot of fine prizes, and seeing lots of friends and pilots, I hope, tomorrow. You bet. And as Music Fiesta wraps up at 5 o'clock, there'll be a kite show going on at 4 at the last part of that. Right. And then we have our, let me go grab this. Uh, hold on, Casey, I'll be right with you. And so we have um, our Fast Tracks, our Team Fast Tracks jump coming in again tomorrow with the flags at 5. And then we'll be into our night, night magic, magic glow globe. about six. Yep. We'll do the fireworks, the drone show, the uh, team fast tracks jump again. All of these activities that we're in the basically, middle of right now. Basically everything we're doing tonight will repeat tomorrow evening, but you with bet. a balloon glow of the round balloons, about 300 of them, I think, will be on field taking part of that. And uh, so, yeah, you'll get to see team fast tracks again tomorrow evening. You'll get to see... Uh, the balloon glow, you'll get to see the upcoming drone show that you're about to see in just a few moments now, and then the afterglow fireworks. That'll all be happening tomorrow night as well. Then, of course, we move on to the final Sunday morning mass ascension. Hard to believe that we're almost to the end of uh, this the 51st, 51st Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta. We it always a, goes so fast. You just so that they'll hear us, we did have a great shot of the Sky Safari team all doing an all burn down there. I'm sure they were trying to get a photo op uh, and they're all taking their balloons down now as well. Uh, but you guys can check the uh, archive version of the show tonight and you'll see a great shot of the uh, Sky Safari team doing an all burn at the very end of our glow performance this evening. <laughs> Leave it to Andrew and team to pull that off. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Trying yeah. to get a, an, an all burn shot with, with their new shape, Pico the Peacock. So I see you're on the phone doing some more of that producing kind of stuff. Uh, probably trying to check and make sure that we get everything synchronized for the launch of the drone show mm -hmm. in just a few moments. And then, uh, so we'll be wrapping up here from the rooftop studio as we introduce the drone show. Yes, we will. And uh, But the feed, of course, stays live so that you can see the drone show and then the afterglow fireworks. But, and for um, those of you, and for those of you here on the field, Bill Royal on our PA stage and announce he'll get you into the band after the right. fireworks. After the fireworks, so don't go anywhere. Still lots to come. 
Um, Art and I have uh, an early call for tomorrow morning to be back out with you to start tomorrow uh, bright and early. So um, I'll just look for you to give me a high sign that we're good to go with the drone show. I think we'll probably count down their launch. So we're two minutes away to the drones. So um, while you're on the phone there doing some producing stuff, um, I'm just going to take a quick back look back at some of the comments that we've um, seen tonight in our Facebook chat group. Uh, let's see, what are some of the people saying here? Will the Eclipse Glow be li on the live? No, it will not. Um, we have to stage, we'll be just wrapping up tomorrow morning's live show, and then we have to shift all of our gear uh, over to the uh, Pilot Pavilion to uh, host the award ceremony, which is recorded and then will be posted later. Um, so However, NASA will be here, and they yeah. will be doing a live show yeah. as well. So I was, I was, we're just going to let NASA take care of the eclipse. I was getting to that. Okay. I was getting there. Well, I'm hurrying you because uh, yeah, we're coming up on, a, on well, time here. You said two minutes a minute ago. I had yep. plenty well, of time. Well, now we're at one minute. Well, uh, make up your mind. <laughs> time flies, and time it, waits for fun. no one, That's, including yeah, you. Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> uh, no, we won't be doing the uh, ballooner. We won't do the Eclipse Glow live, but you will be able to watch that on NASA. NASA TV, if you have access to that. So I believe they're go. going to stream it as well, not on Balloon Fiesta Live's channels, but on their own channels. On their live streaming of their own yeah, channels? Yeah, so okay. on their TV channel and on their streams. They've been here for three or four days. I think the Weather Channel is going to be here tomorrow doing something ah, as well. Okay. All so right. there will be lots of opportunities for you to see the eclipse on other channels, as, as you said, yeah, while we're off uh, elsewhere getting other things done. And we will have just done three hours anyway. Yeah, we'll have been on the air for three hours and have three more coming up. So it's time to say good night from us okay. as we're about to kick off our drone show. Good night from us. No. <laughs> <laughs> Time to say good night for thank you for watching Balloon Fiesta Live. Remember, the feed will stay live. We're just signing off. So if you want to watch the drone show online, you can still do that. For those of you on the field, look over to the west. You're about to see it right in front of your very own two eyeballs. Nine. Nope. Eight. Oh, he's counting them down. Okay, not me. Sorry. the 51st Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta.
I said 51st Balloon Fiesta. seems everyone is here, including Marvin the Martian. Mexico has an official state question. It's red or green. But many New Mexicans have a different answer. What is it? That's right, Christmas.
thanks to our sponsor, Sandia Resort and Casino.
You've been watching Balloon Fiesta Live, powered by ExxonMobil. This is the 51st edition of the Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta, the world's premier ballooning event, and the 66th Gordon Bennett Coupe Aeronautique. Want more balloon action? Visit the archive of Balloon Fiesta Live broadcasts at BalloonFiesta.com. Thanks for watching Balloon Fiesta Live. This program is a production of AIBF Inc.